all new here at five. New DNA testing is helping police crack open cold cases and give families closure after decades without answers. KCAL's Joy Benedict reports on one Riverside investigator who isn't giving up until every case is solved. They are faces lost in time, the missing and unaccounted for. But when the photo is of someone you know, the unknown is heartbreaking. My uh, niece had made arrangements to be with Carol on a particular day just before Christmas and she never showed up. Charlotte Walker's niece went missing in December of 1988. Years and decades passed, but Jackie Ebel's whereabouts remained a mystery. My sister passed away in 2019 and uh, she never knew what happened to Jackie. That is until Joe Parsons recently got a call. I got the call uh, saying I had a sister. Parsons didn't know he had a sister. He was adopted, but through a random test looking for relatives, he found out his sister was Jackie Ebel and she was murdered. Every victim deserves justice. Amy Contreras is an investigator with the Riverside County Cold Case Task Force, which has been digging up the remains of unidentified victims for the last three years. One of those cases, a woman found murdered December 26, 1988 in Paris. The case turned cold, buried as a Jane Doe decades ago. But through this new task force, samples of her remains were recently sent out for DNA sequencing. We have built the profile and then we were able to find some relatives and then we basically put that into a report for the investigators. Michael Vogan works for Othram, a lab turning up the heat on unsolved crimes using new technology. So instead of the 20 to 24 markers uh, that CODIS uses, we look at half a million upwards to a million markers of DNA. So we're collecting infinitely more data uh, from the DNA at the crime scene. The new sequence matched the remains found in 1988 to Parsons and then eventually Jackie Ebel, which allowed her family to mark her grave and say goodbye. But this case isn't over, as now investigators hope her identity will help them find her killer and bring this family some peace. She was mostly from the Long Beach and Bellflower area. She isn't forgotten. There are people out there that might know, might trigger something. Jackie deserves it and so does her family. The Riverside County Coroner's Office still has about 200 cold cases on its books that it is diligently trying to solve. If you happen to know anything about the disappearance or now death of Jackie Ebel, you're urged to contact the Sheriff's Department. From Riverside, I'm Joy Benedict, KCAL News.